civilizations but the circumstance. Hey, who the fuck are you? Easy, Chief. He ain't PK. How do you know? They're creeping around here all the time. He's that outsider, the pilgrim. What? He's from outside the walls. Well, fuck me. I don't know what brings you here, but watch your back, pilgrim. And stay away from the PKs. They ain't no one's friends. This time with a biomarker. Carl said if you show up to bring you round so he can introduce himself. What a nice change from wanting to hang me. And remember, humanity created a civilization that turned out to be a colossus on clay legs. We cannot make the same mistakes. He didn't want to, he had to. You were a threat to everyone. Of course. Do not listen to the ideologies preached by fools calling for reconstruction. There will be no rebuilding. <coughs> Who would have thought? A pilgrim in the bazaar. Welcome. Yeah, I'm still alive, despite your best efforts. It's clear to me you're holding a grudge. But if you were in my shoes, you would understand. We are responsible for the safety of our community. And we treat this seriously. That's why we did what we did. I hope you can forgive us. So, pray tell. What's it like in the outside world these days? Is gossip all you want from me, Carl? No. But you came from outside, and you're walking around my flock. So, to set things straight, I need to know if you're a sheep or a wolf. <coughs> what are you, then? A sheep. I'm no threat to you. That's exactly what a wolf would say. You know what? I think it's time I set things straight, too. I'm looking for Sophie. Are you? And why, pray tell? I need to ask her about Lucas's death. Oh. Why would a pilgrim care about PK business? What's in it for you? Well, let's say a man's death should be another man's concern. Isn't that what separates us from the infected? I guess you have a point. Lucas's death is our concern as well, but mainly because we are the prime suspects. I have never hidden my views on the peacekeepers. The old world fell because of people like them. <coughs> Greedy, power-hungry fascists. Building the new reality based on the old values would not be wise, to say the least. Of course, according to the PK, such claims automatically make me, and all of us, potential killers. So the sooner Lucas's murderer is found, the better for us. Go that way. You'll see a giant of a man. That's Herman, Sophie's bodyguard. She won't be far. But just to be clear, I'd be surprised if she knew anything about it. Sophie is a fighter, not an assassin. Yeah, thanks for the heads up. I'll see you around, Carl. When one of us is killed, they barely notice. But when the commander is killed, they turn the place upside down. Don't make me regret telling you where she is. Sophie, can we talk? Don't hurt him, Herman. Let him talk. My name's Aiden. You're that pilgrim that came to town recently. You're sure well informed. Don't have much of a choice. I'm in charge of safety here. Besides, yesterday you made quite an entrance. I'm looking for a job. Would you happen to know of any? Looking for a job? 
I only work with people I trust. You came from outside. They wanted to hang you. Nobody says anything good about you, Pilgrim. Do you want me to trust you? Talk to the people at the bazaar. See if you can gain their trust. If so, then it might persuade me to change my mind. I pride myself on knowing everyone in this dump, but I don't know you. I don't go out of my way to call attention to myself. Another admirable trait. You're looking better and better for this job. Yeah, which is? But about the job. First and foremost, it'll require a certain amount of discretion on your part. You'll be doing business for my partners, and it's their business only. No one else's. Head on over to meet them in West Quarry End. They'll fill you in on the details. I didn't agree to this yet. Haven't said you didn't agree, either. Just think it over. You'll come around. It's easy money. Seriously, there's no time for delay. Sometimes you too, I guess. Don't look at me like that. I'm just giving you information. It's Aiden. I've just been offered an extremely shady deal, but maybe it'll turn up a lead on Lucas. I need more than just leads, Aiden. Whatever it is, check it out. Will do. Over and out. Anybody there? Damien sent me. Hello? What do you want? Damien sent me. He said you have work here. Wrong address, bud. But I just talked to him. Damien, he sent me here. You alone? Yeah, I'm alone. You'd better be. Now get in and head downstairs. They'll explain everything. Why are you still here? Maiden, Damien sent me. I'm uh, here for the job. Right. So, you're new around here. Damien asked that too. What difference does it make? Boss asked a question. Now, I'm still trying to figure out why I'm here. Yeah, you're the one dancing around the subject. Okay. Let's talk about the job then. To do it, it's best that you're not all that well known around the bazaar. Well, I wouldn't say I'm all that well-known. That's good. That's very good. Looks like we finally found our missing person. Wait, what are you talking about? What do you want from me? Let's just say we work for someone that's dying to meet you. Except he won't be the one dying, I don't think. Call <laughs> him in, boys. <clears throat> <clears throat> 
You die? God, you asshole. You set me up. What? No, no, no. I, I swear, I, I would never. I, I was just doing my job, scouting. It's my job. Who are these people? And why were they looking for me? I don't know, Aiden. You gotta believe me. Please. They just told me to send them anyone who seemed new. They didn't tell me why. I don't have any other choice but to do as they say. They have anything to do with Lucas's death. What? No. I mean... God, I... I hope not. That would be... terrible. But I swear, I don't know. So you've sent others before me, and, and then they've all been murdered? God, what have you done, Damien? I didn't know. At first. But I couldn't do anything about it once I found out. I couldn't. How many, Damien? How many people have you sent to their death? Stop it, Aiden, stop. I'm sorry. I had to. I'm trapped. Believe me, they have my brother. Your brother? I talk fast. They took him and threatened to kill him if I didn't do what they said. I just figured if I did good, they'd eventually release him. I'm being played, and I'm tired of it. I just want my brother back. Will you help me find him? You sent me to the slaughter, and now I'm supposed to forget that and help you find your brother. You're mad. I get it. But look at it this way. He may have heard why they're looking for you. If he could tell you, wouldn't you want to find him? <sighs> All right, fine then. But you better pray that he knows something. <laughs> He's not here.
No signs of Cliff here. Damn it! You don't think they... He's not... He's not dead, is he? Don't jump to conclusions. But where could they be keeping him? Damn it, this is all my fault. I'm such a fool. Sending people here? Yeah, that's on you. As for your brother, I'm not certain. Where did you last see him? We were in East Coriand, close to Devil's Bridge, when they attacked us. They took him hostage and have been using me to carry out their orders ever since. I only did this to keep my brother alive, Aiden. I didn't know others would die when this started. What's Devil's Bridge? It's the name of this building. In the Middle Ages, they said devils haunted it. But then, times changed and no one believed in those things anymore. Before the virus, it was a car repair shop. Now it's full of bandits. And I guess I'll search the area around Devil's Bridge. Aiden, you serious? You'd do that for me? Not a chance. I'm doing this so that no one else dies because of you. I don't want to rush you, but my brother is in danger. Something good exists in this rotting world. I haven't finished yet. It looks finished? You will be finished if I give you an incomplete bow. alone 
in a large house. My beloved wife, Valerie, passed away in 2018. Actually, I'm glad she died then, so that she didn't have to watch the planet go to hell. I have a son, Daniel, who lives with his wife and my three granddaughters in Berlin. But I haven't been able to contact them for months. I'm afraid that... that they... have turned. Though perhaps they have gone somewhere and simply have no means of communication. Anyway, if any of you are spending this Christmas alone, I have a large pantry still full of preserves made by my Valerie. And I'm a pretty good cook. Perhaps someone would like to keep me company. May the holy child's grace shine upon you. God. God bless.
We got a light on here. I got a bad feeling. Can you take it? Damien? Damien? Nah, I'm Cliff. Wow, resemblance is uncanny. Guards! Wait, stop, Damien sent me. How did you escape? Escape? I have no reason to escape, man. So you're not, you're working with him, aren't you? Well, duh. Listen, Cliff, what I really wanna know right now is about the murder of Commander Lucas. The PK commander, what about him? Did you or your people kill him? No fucking way. We're not suicidal. Anyway, we got bigger fish to fry. Like you, for instance. Me? What the hell do you mean? You and Damien haven't figured it out? Oh, well. I love my brother, but he's a dope. Always has been. Damien? Damien, Aiden here. Do you read me? Over. Did you find Cliff? Yeah, but he... Uh... Hey, bro. You were a huge help sending all those kids. You've made Dr. Waltz mighty happy. Waltz? He's the boss here. Boss? Cliff? What? I, I don't understand. Yeah. They took me, but I joined the team right quick. Had to pretend they were gonna kill me to get you in line and following orders. You did... what? Don't be a baby about it. It was the only way to make you behave. How could you do this to me? To all those kids you made me drag in. To their deaths. Don't worry about it, bro. It was all for the greater good. Whose greater good? The bosses, of course. And just now, you served up the guy the boss wanted most. That's him, fellas. The one who took the doc's toy. Cliff? Fuck! What? What do you say? The doc's gonna be thrilled. <laughs> 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 Duck! <laughs> 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 
Damien! Oh, man. Are you still there? Come in, Damien. God, can you hear me? Ader. Did the lead pan out? No. Dead end. I'm not surprised. What can you do? I'll keep digging. Do. I wish someone would deal with that. Damien, what's this all about? Let me in! You hear me, Damien? Open this door before I bust it down. I missed the heart. Wait, 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 what's, what's going on? Where's Damien? He locked himself in the tower. Any other way into the tower? Not really. Not by ordinary means. People have tried to climb the wall, but those who have usually end up getting scraped off the ground. Yeah, I'll give it a shot. Haven't seen my kids in months because of this ridiculous blockade of the center. Damien! Stop or I jump! Wait! Okay. I've stopped. Relax, Damien. Let's both relax. What do you want? To talk. About what? How about Cliff? About your brother? What about him? For one, I... I should apologize. For what? What happened to him, Hayden? Well, I... Uh, look, it's only fair that you know. Know what? That it's my fault. I killed him, not you. Oh, so you want me to jump? Is that it? Rub salt in my wounds? Of course you killed him! Do you think that changes anything? For anyone? It could. Maybe take some of the burden off of you. Nice try, but no, Aiden. No! I brought all of this down on myself. On me? On those poor victims? On my brother? 
and even you. And maybe I should just live with that. But I don't want to. At least not for very long. Only for about, say, 15 floors. I can handle that. Goodbye, Aiden. No! Thank you.